Parable Sputnik 1 was launched on May 15, 1960, five seconds after midnight UTC from Site Number 1 at Baikonur Cosmodrome. It was an uncrewed test of the Vostok system, which would eventually launch Yuri Gagarin in his bid to become the first person in space and first person in orbit. That mission was 11 months away though. The mission name means Ship Satellite 1. In the West it was known simply as Sputnik 4 because its purpose was uncertain. It was the first Vostok spacecraft and was launched on a Vostok L launcher. Vostok means east, so it's interesting to point out that the spacecraft was launched more north than east into an inclination of 65 degrees. Parable Sputnik 1 had a life support system, television system, scientific instruments, and a dummy. It sent back both data and previously recorded vocal messages meant to test a communication system. The spacecraft's mass was 1.48 tons. Initially placed in a relatively low orbit for easy return, a guidance error led the capsule retro rockets to fire prograde instead of retrograde when attempting to deorbit after a few days. The resulting orbit, 675 kilometers by 280 kilometers, meant that the spacecraft would take two years to return, deorbiting on September 5, 1962. It landed in Manitowoc, Wisconsin, out of all places, at a spot which is marked in commemoration. Despite the retro failure, the rest of the mission was relatively successful, starting the Soviet Union on the road to put the first person in space. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Karabul Sputnik 1.